Well, we are uh, six days from our deadline, yeah. and we're about 120. Well, we started this morning about 120 miles from the South Dakota border. So now we're about 108. And we've we've switched by necessity from snow kiting to just self-supported kite-inspired travel. By any means, we we got uh, mountain board and two buggies. Um, since there is absolutely no snow, probably less than five percent snow coverage left in North Dakota, at least in the anywhere part, we are. Yeah. Um, so snow kiting, it takes snow. <laughs> And wind, and we don't have any snow. Yeah, uh, we got wind though. Yeah, a little bit of wind. So we're uh, we're traveling with buggies. We've never kited with buggies before. Luckily today, there's not really enough wind to do it. So we're rolling down the hills and walking up. And tomorrow's supposed to be 15 to 18 miles an hour wind. Yeah, good time so we're to learn. Probably gonna kill ourselves. But uh, That's what the Helens are for. We're he heading that way. We're heading straight south now. It's kind of South Dakota or bust. And Sam's back with us. Yep. After seven day hiatus, we're happy to have him. <laughs> Um, Still can't lift his arm above his shoulder, but that's all right. So uh, yeah. it's it's yeah, going good. Anyway. Ditch our skis and our snowboards. Yeah, okay. Once you're holding the kite bar. So uh, we're we're excited. Thing. We got about 100, 105, 110 miles maybe. We don't know. We'll look at the GPS miles. later. And um, we just passed through a bunch of power line stuff. Beautiful country. It'd be awesome if there was snow. Yeah. Like this would be primo kiting country if there was snow. But it's now primo buggy country, I guess. Um, yeah, like if you just overheard that, there's no brakes. So, I think the kiting's gonna go all right, but trying to drag them and then we want to ride them down hills. And I just think riding it down a hill without any brakes is gonna be really exciting. 